Welcome back everybody, my name is Nook Nuts and I'm with The Gamesman and today I'm going to show you the best place in all of Grounded is to get salt. You will get a lot of salt. So yeah, right, so we're going to go to the sand pit, so you will need antlion armour, unless you go at night time. Now I've noticed the best sword is to have, best weapon is a salt toenail scimitar, and I've got a shield on as well. You will need a tier 2 hammer, so I've got a black ox hammer which is tier 3. But you will need a tier 2 hammer to harvest the salt, and you do need to kill a few ant lions, so I would recommend bringing this. Also make sure you've got enough water and some food as well. Or just health. You don't really need food, you just need health, because there's plenty of food in the actual sandbox. But you do need to bring some water with you. So yeah, let's get into it. Right, so guys and gals, we are here on the map, just southeast of the sandbox lab outpost. So you've got this sand lion. It's harder than the other sand lions, but what you can do is use a ball, bang, 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 it can't hit you. Or, so I'm going to get rid of this guy. Bloody hell. I ain't getting absolutely destroyed here. It's not, it's not a good idea fighting an ant, ant, ant lion and this guy at the same time. Can't block that, I don't think. The one way, like, throws a sand at you. Just, just, just keep hitting them and blocking. But if you're even new to the game and you, you don't have the armor I have, just run around in a circle of war. Do this at night time, I highly recommend doing this at night time. You killed him, lose him. Right, and you go down here, get your torch out, and look at all this salt. There's so much. Now, if you plug the hairs, there will be the little spores blowing up, but uh, they kind of just help you. Just keep blowing up on the ant lions and doing damage to them. So, I'll get rid of these two ant lions. I'd highly recommend using a sword with salt on it. Toenail scimitar is probably the best. But it's not exactly the easiest to get from the toenails. Get rid of this. Oh, I'll have a check to what I'm doing. Right, now we're going to go loot. There is other ways to get in here. There's more tunnels and stuff. So as you can see, there, there would have been an antline. There's an antline on this side. If you kill him, it'll collapse the tunnel and come in that way. But it doesn't really matter. I've showed you the location of one of them. You don't need to do them all. But bear in mind there is other tunnels around uh, the sandbox. Other little um, treasures. Like there's ones to like spicy shards and mint shards. And see there's a milk mauler in one of them. But yeah, just go all these. And if you're lucky you'll get a, um, a salty... Um, what's it called? A salty... Oh my god, that was a word? Trinket, there we go. Salty trinket, it'll give you extra salt damage, which is pretty good. So, to be honest, I, sh I should have equipped with this, equipped with my my one of them when I came down here. But I, I've just got, I always just keep fours pendant pendant on, because it's amazing. Oh, that's the entrance. Don't want to go that way. But yeah, that's the best place to get your salt. If you, ever, if you ever want salt, come here. If you want even more salt, do the um, dig the treasure up around the sandbox, which is like a spotty light. Or just look for the spoons on the map. Most possibly, if you find like a, a white plastic spoon that has like three salt clusters, which is six salt. Or you could just come here. Have I got it all? I believe there's a little bit more. Oh. No, that's it. I think that's it all. I'll just quickly double check for you guys. Right, yes, yeah, so that's all the salt. So as you can see, I've got 38 salt, which is awesome. There you go. Well, thank, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next Hub 2 or Let's Play.